Welcome everyone. Today we'll be learning how to place bracket orders on options within Webull. Now these bracket orders are simply orders that automatically go out there to close your option for a set profit target or to stop you out before you lose too much money. Now there are actually a few different ways to do this within Webull, so we'll be sure to go through the more methodical but slower method. And then once we're actually comfortable with that, we'll go ahead and move over to how to create a template and place these same exact trades with just one single click. Now this is probably gonna be a little bit confusing if you guys are doing it for the very first time or if you've never used a bracket order before, but I promise you with a little bit of practice, you guys will get the hang of it. Now beginning with that very first method, we'll actually be using my customized page right now, but you guys could do this on the stock page as well. We'll simply need to have an option chain as well as an order entry tool. Now in terms of actually placing that opening trade, it is no different than how most of you guys are already placing your trades right now. We simply need to find the contract that we want to buy or sell and then click on the bid or asking price to create the order ticket. So in this example, you can see here that I already have SoFi the stock pulled up and let's say we wanted to trade the 19 August expiration. For this one, we'll be looking at buying a slightly in the money option on the call side. So let's say we're also bullish on the stock. And for this one, we're looking at the $6 call. Here I can see that this call option is currently trading for 62 cents by 63 cents. And since I want to buy this call option, we're simply going to click on the asking price of 63 cents. You'll then notice that as soon as I clicked on that, we do see a little buy ticket over here on the left. And then down below, we can actually see the order ticket built out for us. We'll then just go ahead and fill out this order ticket just like normal. So coming over here to the right, let's say we do just want to buy one contract for right now. We do want to use a limit order, but in this case, we only want to buy it if it drops down to, let's say 50 cents. Now that we've got the opening trade filled out, I can now move over to turning it into a bracket order by coming over here to the far left-hand side in this little strategy column and then selecting right here where it says single option. We'll then get a little menu pop up and this is how you guys would create more advanced orders like a straddle or strangle or really any other spread. But what we wanna do is actually come up here to the very top where it says single option, then come over to the right and select first trigger stop. So it's almost like Webull hides the bracket order option inside of here. They don't make it super easy to find. Now, as soon as we actually clicked on that, you'll notice that it actually builds out two closing tickets right below our opening trade. So the first line right here is a stop loss order. And then we've got the take profit order right below that. If you guys only wanted to use one of these, like maybe you didn't want the stop to go out behind it, you only wanted the take profit order, we could actually just deselect the stop loss order. And now all this is gonna trigger is a take profit order to go out right behind it. Now in my case, I do actually wanna use both. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one once again here. Once that's done, I could actually come over here to the right and actually specify where I wanted the stop to be and the limit target to be. Now at the time of making this video, Webull does not actually offer the ability to put in a manual price. Like I couldn't come in here and actually specify I wanted to sell it at 10 or I wanted to sell it 11, but I can come in here and actually set the parameters. So right now I'm saying that if this order actually fills at 50 cents, I want my stop to go in 20% below that. Now I don't wanna actually do that. I wanna flip this over from a percentage amount to a dollar amount, and I'm gonna make this a 20 cent stop. So I'm gonna change that from 40, 220 here. Now that I'm happy with the stop, I'm gonna come over here to the profit taking order next. And I'm also gonna flip that over to a dollar amount. And I'm gonna set this to $1. Now that I'm happy with that, I'll simply come over here to where it says day. And I'm actually gonna flip these both over to good until cancel orders. So now the way I have this filled out, what I'm essentially saying is if this option ever drops down to 50 cents a contract, go ahead and buy me one contract. Then if that ever happens, I wanna go ahead and stop out if it ever drops down to 30 cents, cause that would be 20 cents below the price I buy it at. Or if it goes up to $1.50, which would be a dollar above what I bought it for, go ahead and sell it for a profit. Now, since this is a bracket order, whichever one of those sell tickets fills first, the other one is gonna be automatically canceled. So for example, if I were to get stopped out at 30 cents, my limit order would actually cancel itself automatically. Or if I were to sell it at $1.50, my stop would cancel itself. But now that we have everything filled out, everything looks good, I'm happy with it, I would simply come down here and select place order to actually submit this trade. But again, this is the more methodical yet slower way for you guys to enter your bracket orders on your options trades. Now, the second method is actually by utilizing the active trader menu. And you can actually see if I delete this out of here, I already have the active trader tool right up here on the right. 
Now, if I take a closer look at this active trader tool, it is currently set up for the stock. So right here, we can see SoFi in here, but it is linked over here with a little two button. And that's gonna be important in just a second, because right now I wanna make sure both my option chain and my active trader tool are linked to the same color. And in this case, they are. Now, like I said a second ago, this active trader tool is specifically set up to trade stock right now. So we'll need to add a couple buttons here in just a second, specifically for options, but we'll get to that in just a second. What I first want to do is actually set an option contract in this active trade window. And in order to do that, we will simply come over here to my option chain and I can actually click on any one of these columns except for the bid and ask columns to send that particular contract to that tool. So in this case, if I wanted to trade, let's say the $7 calls, if I were to come over here and click on the current net change, you'll actually see that that option contract goes right over here in the active trader window. So now what it's saying is I'm trading the SoFi $7 calls for the 19th of August. So that's what that linking button did for us. It made it so if we were to click on the option chain, the active trader tool will actually change to match that. So now we can trade the options here. So the linking tool will be very important. Now, in order to actually add the buttons to this tool to trade the actual option contracts, we will need to come up here to the little menu icon in the upper right, then go ahead and come over here and select the active trader settings menu. Once we've got that menu opened up, we can actually come over here to the left and come down a little bit to where we've got the option submenu. So now looking down here below, if we wanted to add a few buttons specifically for options, we could do it right here. Now in my case, all I wanna add is a customized button specifically for placing bracket orders. So that's gonna be right here where it says buy customize. So we'll go ahead and select that one. I can then come over here to the right and actually specify the type of orders that I wanna go out there. In my case, I'm always gonna leave it as a limit order. And right here, I'm gonna specify just one contract at a time. I could also come over here and specify what I want that limit price to go off of, whether it be the mid, the ask, or the bid. In my case, I'm actually just gonna base this one off the mid price, then come over here to the offset, and I'm actually gonna set this offset to zero. I'm also gonna leave it set right here where it's gonna round down to the nearest price, and it's gonna be a day order only. So now what I'm essentially saying is the opening ticket is gonna be in order to buy just one contract at whatever the current mid price is right now. I can then specify that once that order fills, I then want these two orders to go out right behind it, the stop loss order and the take profit order. So in this case, they are both checkmark, meaning both of these orders will go out there, one for a 20% stop, one for a 20% profit. Now for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and change that to a stop of let's say 10%. And I'm gonna come over here and set the profit taking order at, I don't know, 15%. But that's gonna be everything for the opening ticket to buy the contract. And for those of you option sellers out there, you guys could come over here to the sell customize button. And for me, I would generally leave it as very similar settings. But the only thing I might change is stop this from including the stop loss order. I would leave the take profit. And for me, let's say I wanted to close out of this short option if it ever made me 50% profit. So now that I'm happy with that, we'll just come down here and hit done. And now you can see those brand new buttons right up here at the top. So now if I were to actually click on this button where it says buy one at the mid, remember what it's essentially saying is I want to buy one contract at whatever the current mid price is, then put out an order to sign me out if I ever lose 10% or sell it for a 15% profit. So basically with one click, I'm putting out three separate orders. Now in my case, I don't actually have enough money in this account to actually place it for you guys to see what it's gonna look like, but this is how you would do it. And I think you guys get the general idea now of how you guys can place these bracket orders and hopefully you all feel a lot more comfortable with them after this video. I have made a bunch of other tutorials on Weeble and will continue to make more, so definitely check those out. Now, if you guys did have some other questions or video suggestions, please leave them down below and also hit that like button if you did find this video helpful. But that wraps up today's video on bracket orders on options. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next video.